It ain't, because of Will going draft, probably go to a good team. He's probably a late first round pick. That could be good for him. Finally, Andre Iguodala hurt his knee in game three after colliding with James Harden. Iggy's coach, Steve Kerr, said the Warriors would have beaten the Rockets in five games if Iggy was healthy. You agree with Steve Kerr, Nick? No. And I think this is a, this is a wild comment to make to me. Andre Iguodala is your fifth best player and a guy who was not in your starting lineup most mm -hmm. of the year, has not been in the starting lineup the majority of your tenure there. And if they had lost this series, and in the post-mortem of the season, he wanted to say, you know, I think we could have pulled out one more game had Andre not been hurt. You know, it was a tough injury for us in that regard. But to I almost flippantly disregard what the Rockets did, and the way, let's keep in mind how the Rockets won game four and five. It's not because they scored 125 points. No. They shut down the Warriors offensively in the fourth quarters, particularly of games four and games five. Andre Iguodala is not an offensive force. He's out there for his defense. Like, oh, well, Quinn Cook missed that open three. Quinn Cook's a far better three-point shooter than Andre Iguodala. If Iggy would have been out there, like, no, I, I don't. Listen, Iggy's loss was somewhat significant as significant as the fifth best guy on your team can be. But no, I don't buy into these comments by Steve Kerr. It's a game of matchups, and you have Kevon Looney, who ended up playing extended minutes with Iggy being hurt, and they are not nearly. Now, he did a good job for him, and all the switches with him playing on the perimeter. I mean, he did a phenomenal job for a young, big player, not used to playing. He adjusted well, but they're a lot better team with Iggy out there. It's just one of those comments. As tight as this series was, because it boiled down to one quarter. The third quarter of game number six and the third quarter of game number seven. So in a tightly contested series like that, you don't expect one of the coaches to make a comment that's saying, well, we would have beat them four to one. Right. Like, you think he was being dismissive towards the Rockets or just well, trying to make his one in guy? five. Yeah, he said we would have won the series in five. Yeah, well, if he's, we don't know if he's going to play guy, in yeah. game number one. So why would we be trying to pump him up? All right. You could pump him up without making Houston look bad. You could be like, listen, this guy's invaluable to the team. We don't believe this series would have been like it was sure. if we don't have the When he put the number on it, that's when he threw shade sure. at the okay. Rockets. And I'm going to add one other thing. You know what the Warriors don't want? And obviously you can't do this. But they don't want this series played with both teams at full strength. Because that doesn't just mean Chris Paul plays game six and seven. That means the Rockets version of Andre Iguodala, Luke Rashar Mute, is playable as he was in the regular season. He was the Rockets' fifth most important player this year. He was their defensive wing that was a shooting liability. He became unplayable in these playoffs because he never got over that shoulder injury. Like, you don't want to do these hypotheticals if we were both fully healthy, especially when you ended up winning the series anyway. Right. He was unlucky, though, because who was? I put the jinx on him. Oh, Luke, well, Luke Richard. Richard, the moment you said his name right, Bob Mute. he couldn't play. You're yeah. so proud yeah, of yourself. Yeah. As soon as I did that, his game fell apart. <laughs> so I'm going to go back to speaking the way I was speaking before. Well, back then, name? his name was Nick. What's his name? Well, what's that what do you call name? that guy? Your guy, Luke Richard? Hey, anyone out there having a birthday this week, please, I'd ask if you wouldn't mind using your...